this is the normal uh, scanning angle regarding the spleen that is uh, in the 10th, 11th, 12th intercostal space in the left side. Whereas when the spleen is enlarged, you may have to go downwards to get the whole of the spleen depending on the size of the spleen. Now in this patient, my spleen, my angling to measure the spleen is number one will be this. Second will be then I will give a sweep to the probe 180 degree and this will be the scanning angle here I will be below the costal margin so whenever the spleen is massively enlarged you will get the now see that this is a marker and uh, I am I will be scanning in this location subcostal region this is a subcostal region and uh, from here I will try to get the maximum and the full length of the spleen whereas normally we use this one so try both because in this direction you will be able to get the width with ease however width can be calculated uh, calculate from this angle as well so let's see what we get on the ultrasound now this is my initial scanning plan that I showed you below the subcostal margin and I am going to move. this is the high room and this is the part of the left hemidiaphragm and I am going to measure from pole to pole it measures 12.4 centimeters normal should not exceed 12 centimeters sorry 21.4 centimeters normal should not exceed 12 centimeters now the other scanning plan now in this plan this is the diaphragm and in my ear from pole to pole we get 20.8 centimeters 12 centimeters being normal for width I prefer this plan and uh, the width is approximately 12 whereas the width should not be more than six centimeters here we are getting a width of uh, double the size of normal see ten so to try to get maxim uh, multiple measurements and then get an average whenever the supreme is massively in line This is the span angle 40. This will give a better angle measurement regarding the size from pole to pole. Again, 21.2 centimeters. And in, the, in this direction. for I-21 and the width is something around 11 centimeters so this is an enlarged supreme and 
whenever the subpoena is aligned, it's very easy to see the kidney as it, as the subpoena becomes a very good window. And moreover, whenever you place the probe subpostally and you straight away get the left kidney, presume that the supreme is an eye. Okay. Fine. 